Hey everybody, this is Alex with GuitarForce.com. Today we're going to take a look at uh, Bad Companies Can't Get Enough. This is a uh, supported request by Donald, so thank you very much Donald, I hope you like this lesson. Uh, we're going to break this lesson into two parts. In this part we're going to take a look at the rhythm guitars and also at the first solo. And uh, the outro solo is going to be uh, on a different, in a different video, so look out for that. Uh, also, the tablature and the backing track for this song are going to be available at GuitarForce.com for free, as usual. And uh, while you are there, please consider supporting the channel by purchasing some of my other products that you can find in the store section. I would really appreciate that. Uh, now, back to the lesson. The uh, gear that I was using for this lesson, again, a VST plug-in guitar rig uh, with the preset is called Crazy Randy which is supposed to emulate uh, the uh, Randy Rhodes sound. And I'm going to post a picture on the screen so you can see all the details of, of the parameters uh, that are used uh, on the amplifier and so on. Okay, so back to the lesson. Uh, this song is in standard tuning, so here is my low E string for your reference. Alright, so without further ado, let's go for the close-up, take a listen to the intro part, then we'll come back and start the lesson. Let's check it out. Alright, so the intro riff goes like this. We're going to be playing here three chords, uh, basically power chords. We start off with the C, played right here at the uh, eighth position. So we let it ring out. Then we go for B flat chord, but we're going to be playing it right here again at the eighth position, but uh, in the shape of D from the cage system. So it looks like this. We have on the D string 8th fret, on the G 10, and on the B 11. Okay, so it's the same as this one, but we're playing it uh, on the higher strings. A little bit different voicing. So, like I said, we start with C, then we go for B flat. So we play it two times, and then we go into the F, Chord, which is again right here at the eighth position, just a standard five string root note, again power chord. And then we're back to B flat and back to F. So it goes like this. Okay, in that rhythmical uh, that rhythmical figure, and uh, we played twice. After that we go into the verses and they go like this. Okay, so during the verses, um, because there are two guitars playing, they play slightly different rhythm from each other, uh, but uh, using the same chords basically. So again, we start with the C power chord. Uh, we're going to explain just the first guitar and then I will ex explain the second guitar. So we start with the C power chord. Then we go to B flat right here at the uh, sixth position. Play it twice. And then we go into this figure, which is we're going to be using only three strings, which are D, G, and the B strings. And uh, basically, we're playing an F chord, but we're just playing these three strings. And then what we do, we play um, an B flat, which is in the C shape. But again, we're just going to be playing the three strings. And uh, practically we place our fingers on the D string 12th fret 
and uh, the B string on the 11th fret and um, the uh, 10th fret of the G string stays the same. So that's the rhythmical figure. Okay, so when we put together both of uh, these parts okay so it goes like that uh, now as you can see as you can notice uh, there are slight uh, pauses in between when they play these chords okay so again it's it varies you know they don't play it every time the same thing uh, so, you know, if you just get that shuffle kind of rhythmical figure going on, you know, you can just uh, improvise a little bit. Now, uh, that was the first guitar. Now, the second guitar is playing uh, practically the same thing uh, with a slight variation. So, again, it starts off with the C power chord. Then it goes into B flat, but stays here for a shorter period of time. So, kind of plays only once and then goes right into the uh, F chord again using these three strings so it was it would be something like this so it kinda slides into into the uh, F chord and then you know doing the same thing as the first guitar uh, using that B flat chord right here so again um, goes like this and also sometimes it would just uh, uh, let the notes ring out when playing the chords okay so they play this uh, part both guitars uh, so this is the first part of the verses and then the second part of the verses goes like this okay so here both guitars are playing pretty much the same thing so they go into the G chord which is at the tenth pre at the tenth position and kind of sliding into it uh, also let let it ring out the whole chord uh, and just pick uh, the chord uh, when uh, you will hear the the drums kind of give you a cue when to to pick the chord all right so it would be then after that we go into the B flat let it ring out again then we go into F And then we play two times with the rest in between uh, a, an E flat. All right, so one more time. Okay, so these um, these are the parts for both guitars. And now we go into the chorus, and it sounds like this. Alright, so for the chorus, basically two guitars are playing the same thing. Uh, now we're going to be playing in the same style as we did here. Uh, but we're going to start with the C chord, which is uh, going to be here at the 5th position, 5th fret. Uh, again, we're going to be using just the three strings. So we have on the D, G and the B uh, on the 5th fret. And then we apply the same figure. This is uh, basically an F chord in the shape of C but again like I said we're going to be using just the three strings so we hammer on onto um, this chord the F chord uh, the D string is going to be on the seventh fret uh, the uh, G string on the fifth and B on the sixth so we play the C chord F C okay and then we're back to the uh, F 
and again uh, alternating it with the B flat, F, B flat, F, B flat. <laughs> Okay, so again, it's in a shuffle kind of um, rhythm, rhythm, so keep, in my, keep that in mind. And also, um, the uh, second uh, chorus is slightly different rhythmically, and again, listen to the uh, drums, they're going to give you a cue. Um, basically, it's just a, a little bit shorter, and there is a pause, a uh, little rest when um, they play the C going to F chord. So it goes something like this. And then after that we go into the uh, G chord, but again using this this form and um, when we play the G chord, then we play a C chord, again just using these two fingers adding to, the, uh, to this form, to this shape. Um, so we go into the G, picking the C chord twice, and then letting it ring out the G chord again. So again they vary uh, the rhythm, the rhythm when playing again both uh, guitars. So just listen to carefully to the uh, parts. Uh, but um, generally it goes just like this. I'm going to play a couple of times uh, through so you can get uh, the feel of um, uh, the song of the chorus, how it goes. So here we go. <laughs> Now again, uh, the second guitar, when playing uh, these kind of things, uh, it's not necessary for you to play the whole using the uh, ring finger playing on the D string. Sometimes it just adds this, just this one note. Alright, so technically it would be, if we're playing in F, it's just like adding the sus4. Okay, so instead of playing like that, you just add just that one note on the B string. And uh, the same principle goes for when they, play, when they go to the G chord. You don't have to play with your ring finger here. Okay, and um, also when playing this part in G, uh, technically, it's a C chord, so we can play it right here. You know, just one octave up from uh, this position, so we're going to be in the 15th fret. So we can play a C power chord, so it would be like this. Alright, so we have this part of the G. And then we play C chord, and back to G. Alright, so this brings us to the end of this lesson. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, please hit that uh, thumbs up button. It uh, helps the channel grow. Also, comment, share, subscribe. Don't forget to visit guitarforest.com for more guitar-related stuff. Uh, also, uh, look out for the uh, second part of uh, this video where we're going to take a look at the outro solo. And uh, in the meantime, I hope to see you soon again. Take it easy and as always, let the force be with you.